Hi there, Bruce Penson here from ProDrive and welcome to the latest in our series of Copilot how-to videos. So today we're going to look at how you can do advanced analysis in Microsoft Excel using Python and Copilot. So for those who don't know, Python is a very popular programming language. It's often used to do complex statistical analysis. However, for most Excel users, they don't have programming skills and therefore some of this functionality of Python is generally speaking out of their reach. The good news, however, is that Microsoft 365 Copilot now includes the ability to create Python script within Excel, and you don't need to have any Python knowledge to do this. So we're going to do a demo today using some Excel data and creating some forecasts using Python um, through using Microsoft 365 Copilot. OK, then, so what you can see here is uh, some demo data. These are uh, some food product sales in the US um, split by region, uh, north, south, east, west. And what you can also see is we've got quite a lot of data here. There's about 4,000 line items. So analyzing these uh, within uh, using normal Excel tools is gonna be quite difficult. And that's where um, Python with Copilot comes in. So to access Python, we're gonna click on the Copilot symbol and then select this option here, advanced analysis using Python. And when we click that and click start advanced analysis, it opens up a new tab in Excel, and what's happening is that um, Copilot is moving the data into Python format into this new tab, so we can work on the data without affecting the original data. So what we're gonna do now is perform a bit of analysis on that. So specifically, I want to try and get a forecast uh, for the next two years based on the uh, data that I've got there and that's something Python can do. So we're gonna ask it now. And um, it takes a little while to work on, on this with Python. So it takes a minute or two to get the responses. And uh, and there we go. So what we've got, I'm, I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger so you can see them, is we've got a chart of the existing revenue. Um, and this is for the items that were sold in the West side of the United States. And then based on the historical trends, uh, Copilot using Python has created a forecast for the coming months. Um, so really, really handy there. Um, I can get rid of that. And now I can do a little bit more analysis on that if I want to. Um, I can ask to um, say I wanted to decide which products I got the best chance of upselling, of selling more of. Um, I can ask that as well. So let's have a quick look there. And again, Copilot will use Python to get to this. Um, you can actually see the Python code if uh, that's something that interests you. As I said earlier, it doesn't mean an awful lot to me. But then we get this chart um, of items we can upsell on the rank. And so that's really useful. What we can do then is we can ask it to Copilot to turn it into a bar chart. And what I've also asked there, you'll see this, I've just asked Copilot to also explain the methodology used to create this ranking, because that's something that would be useful to know. So there are the upsell products, and, and here's what it's done. So it said, score was calculated for ratio of potential total sales average price unit. Okay, so that's the end of the demo. Um, as you can see, uh, Python gives you some really amazing power in Excel to do advanced analysis of data. It's brilliant for the accountancy financial services sectors. And no longer do you need that Python knowledge to do it. If you have Copilot, you can use that um, to analyze within Python code. If you're interested in uh, learning more about Copilot or um, having one organizing one of our Copilot discovery workshops to see how Copilot could work for you, then do get in touch using details on the website or in the corner of the screen here. Thank you very much.